little bigger lead for Holt. This one broken back to right. It's a bloop. Will it hit Turt? And it is caught. Piscotti got the ball. Great play by Piscotti in right field. He came a long, long way. Got a glove on it. Brian Price is saying, wait a minute. Yelling to Jerry Meals, wait a minute. As he's trying to get word from Rob Coughlin. Here's another look at Piscotti's effort. Brian Price is going to go out and ask the home plate umpire, will you take an umpire review of that as actually is real, a real uh, catch or not? Did it bounce into his glove or was it an official catch? Hard to tell from there. There it, it looks like it's hitting. It looks like it's hitting grass there. And Jerry Meals agrees to take an umpire review of it. They've got our views plus the Cardinal views plus the ballpark views and they'll take a look at it now. So it's either second out of the inning and there's a runner at first. Now the other part of that Chris is he bounced up and threw the ball to second for a force play in any event. I, mean, I think he had questions about whether or not there was a legitimate catch. And by the way, while we bring you the game here at the bottom of the eighth inning in Cincinnati, we understand there have been some audio problems along the line for some of you watching Reds baseball tonight and the crew in New York and around the country trying to find out exactly where they may be emanating from. Meanwhile, umpiring review here, Jerry Meals talking to the crew back in New York. I mean, if you watch the play to its conclusion, you watch that Piscotti bounces up. Whether it's a catch or not, he bounces up and that looks like it hits the turf and then caroms into his glove. But he bounced up immediately and threw to second. So there was a force. Now the umpire. Can rule here that the player after the call was made as an out. It's an unfair disadvantage for the base runner. Take a look at this low angle. There it looks like it clearly hitting the grass and bouncing up, but I don't know if it's enough to overturn. I really can't tell. It's interesting because the umpires, the, the, the toughest thing sometimes in a play like this is where the umpires will put the base runners. Safe. Yeah. Now Mike McBeanie is going to argue, hey, we threw the ball to second base. You make a good point, George. It's an unfair advantage for the defense once you make the out call. I mean, Piscotti did the right thing. He bounced up through to second and they made the force. What Meals is saying is that he was already called out and you can't blame the base runner for that. But realistically, Chris, there's no way the base runner would have gotten to second either way to avoid the force. And Matheny's got a legitimate argument here. Uh, You're not going to win it. I'm not so sure that the umpires could do anything about it. No. So the Reds in the end get a break because either way if he caught the ball there's an out if he didn't catch the ball Piscotti did the right thing and technically got the force at second. Take another look watch it to its conclusion. And the second baseman Garcia is yelling to him throw it to second throw it to second. He's right by him. Piscotti bounces up. He throws to second. And there's your force at second base. Matheny's got a good argument. He's not going to win it. So the Reds get a break here. Maybe this 
might atone for the earlier balk call and see if the Reds can take advantage of it.